In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer assets off of the Blowfin platform to another exchange or wallet address. Let's get into the video. Before you can transfer any crypto assets off of Blowfin and send them to another exchange or wallet address, you'll need to make sure that Blowfin is bound to your Google Authenticator app. So if you haven't bound Google Authenticator just yet, you can get that done by coming right up here to your profile icon, then select Overview in this drop-down window. Then over here on the left-hand side, make sure you're set to Account and Security. You'll find Google Authenticator right down here. You can come over here on the right-hand side and click on the Link button to begin the process of binding Blowfin to Google Authenticator. If you need any additional help with that, I did make a separate tutorial on how to bind Blowfin to Google Authenticator, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Once you've bound Blowfin to Google Authenticator, you can proceed to withdraw crypto assets off of the platform and send them off to another exchange or a wallet address. To get that done, we'll come right up here where it says Assets, and in this drop-down menu, click here on Overview. From here, you'll need to make sure that your assets are in your funding account. So you can see in my case here that I have a small amount of Tether in my Futures account. So I'll need to internally transfer the assets from Futures and into my funding account. So to do that, we'll come right over here on the right hand side. We'll click here where it says transfer. Then we'll get this pop-up window where we can transfer our assets internally on the Blowfin platform. And there's no fees to get this done. So in my case here, you can see I'm set up to transfer from funding and into futures. So I'm going to simply flip these around by clicking on these arrows right here. If you need to select the accounts, you can always click on these boxes and then select the accounts that you're transferring from in this drop down menu. Then you can click right here and choose the account that you wish to transfer into. So now that I'm set up to transfer from futures to funding, I can come down here, type in a custom amount that I wish to transfer, and you'll be able to see your available balance right here. If you want to transfer all of it, just simply click here on transfer all. Then come over here and click on confirm. And as you can see, I just transferred the assets from futures and into funding. Now I'm ready to transfer those assets off of the Blowfin platform and send them off to another exchange or a wallet address. To proceed with that, we'll come right over here on the right hand side and we'll click here on withdraw. And this will bring us over to the crypto withdrawal form. On this page here, you can click on this box right here and select the crypto that you wish to transfer off of Blowfin. And you can search for it in the search bar up above as well. I just have a little bit of tether here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this set to USDT. Next, we'll choose a network that we wish to send the tether over by simply clicking on this box right here. Then you'll get a drop down menu with the available networks that you can use to transfer your crypto over. And some of these networks are going to be faster and less in fees than others. And you'll be able to see the estimated fee over here on the right hand side. So you can see that if I send tether over the ERC20 network, the fee is going to be 12 USDT. If you look below that, you'll see the BEP20, which is the Binance Smart Chain. And the fee to use that network is only 0.5 USDT. So a big difference from the Ethereum mainnet. Just make sure that wherever you're sending these coins to supports the network that you want to use and that you select that network on that platform. It's very important to match the networks. You don't want to send from one network and into another network or that can result in a permanent loss of your crypto. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and select the BET20 network. Now up here in this box, we need to paste in the deposit address of the destination that we're sending our crypto to. And for this demonstration, I'll simply send my tether from Blowfin to another crypto exchange called Femix. So I'll quickly bring Femix into frame. Now, if anyone's interested in learning more about Femix, I do have some tutorials for Femix and I'll leave links to those videos in the description down below for anyone that might be interested. So now that I'm on Femix, I need to find the crypto deposit button. I can see a deposit button right here, but you can also find it if you come right up here to your wallet and then we'll click right here on deposit. And I'm going to be selecting an on-chain deposit. And this brings me into the crypto deposit form on Femix. If you're using an exchange like Coinbase, you're looking for the send and receive button. On Kraken, it's called a transfer button. And on other major exchanges like Binance, you can usually find your crypto deposit withdraw button on the dashboard of the platform that you're looking to withdraw the tokens off of. So now that I'm on the crypto deposit form, I need to click right here where it says ETH and I need to select USDT. Next, I need to match the network. So I've selected the BEP20 network on Blowfin and I can see that network right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. And now I've matched the network on both sides of this. 
So down below, Femix has now generated a deposit address for Tether on the Bet20 network. There's a QR code right here, so if I was doing this from a smartphone, I could scan that QR code, but I can also see my deposit address right beside that QR code. And for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just simply click on copy. Now I've copied that deposit address. Now in some cases, some exchanges will give you the option to deposit to your contract address or your spot wallet. Typically, I like to just have my assets sent to the spot wallet, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it set to that. Now I'm going to bring Blowfin back into frame, and I'm going to paste the Femix deposit address for Tether on the Bet20 network into this box right here, just by right-clicking and clicking on Paste. Now I've selected the correct coin, the correct address, and I've matched the network. Now I can choose the amount of the asset that I wish to withdraw. You'll be able to see your available balance right here, so you'll know exactly what you're working with. If you want to send a custom amount, you can type it in just like so. But if you want to withdraw all of it, you just come over here, click on all. Then come down here and click on continue. Next, you'll have to do your verification. So this is where you're going to have to put in your Google Authenticator code once Blowfin is bound to Google Authenticator. And you'll also have to retrieve an email verification code. To get that, just simply click right here on send. Then put in your verification codes and click on submit. And now my withdraw is under review. You'll be able to see the status of that right down here. So now I simply wait for the review process and then the tether will be on its way from Blowfin and over to Femix. So a quick tip with this, if it's your first time withdrawing crypto off of the platform, just send a small amount first. When the smaller amount arrives as intended, then you can have the confidence that you have everything set up correctly and you can proceed to withdraw larger amounts. So now I'll quickly bring Femix back into frame. I'm going to come up here, top right hand side to my little wallet icon. I'm going to come down here where it says account, give it a click, and I'm going to click on spot account. Now, when we come over here on the left hand side, you can see my tether has now arrived on the Femix platform. And that process took a little bit less than 10 minutes. Sometimes it can take longer, just depends on how congested things are on the network, as well as the amount of withdrawal requests that are happening at the time that you make your withdrawal. But that's how you can get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer your crypto assets off of the Blowfin platform. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other Blowfin tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.